Excuse me, Harvey. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we've got a huge problem. Come in. Have a seat. What is it? Someone's holding our word processing files hostage and is demanding payment. Well, anytime Amy tries to open any word processing or spreadsheet documents on her computer, she gets a message saying all of her files have been encrypted and it's going to cost $4,000 for a decryption key. What data is affected? Word processing and spreadsheet documents used to prepare reports for board and asset liability management meetings. I also run our custom build application that categorizes and reports on loan concentrations. That includes all the historical data. Don't we store all files on the network server? Well, IT assumed everyone stored their data on the server, so we don't back up data on the local workstations. We didn't realize users were using their local hard drives to store their documents. Anything else affected? Looks like two other PCs were hit. One was spreadsheets used for call report adjustment and fixed asset depreciation schedules. The other, spreadsheets to assess the adequacy of the AFLL. So what are we doing? We invoked the incident response plan. We immediately disconnected the infected computers from the network, but kept them powered up to preserve any evidence. We're logging all of our actions. Next steps are to convene the incident response team and contact law enforcement. <laughs> I need to get the packets together for the board and ALCO meetings tomorrow. $4,000 doesn't seem like a lot of money. Why don't we just pay it? That's extortion. We are not paying. Tim, get the team together. Let's meet in the boardroom. Okay, it's been a long day. None of us expected to spend the afternoon looking for files and recreating reports. Where do we stand on our incident response? Let's start with the CFO. Okay, well, we can run interest rate risk and ALM reports on a different computer. It's going to be a bit of a struggle, but we can do it. Now, the new reports might not be comparable to the prior reports, but we'll just adjust as we go along. We may need the board to approve going outside of some policy parameters, especially if different assumptions change our position. And we've got to postpone the ALCO committee meeting at least two days while we recreate the reports. Any other impact? Well, we lost several of our monthly reconcilements. For starters, we need to begin with the end of the month reconciling. Prior reconcilements are also lost. It's a lot of work, so we may need some overtime to catch up. Thanks, Marsha. Carmen, how's the loan department? Losing the data on the loan concentrations? Big problem. We have a current copy of the package to extract and organize the data but the data is in one of those workstations. Bottom line is we can run the program and get a new report, but the system cannot go back in time, so all detailed historical information, gone. Tim, three workstations are out of commission. When will they be back up and running? Well, those systems have been infected, and we can't retrieve any information off them without a decryption key, so it's best just to replace them with new machines. We placed a rush shipment with the hardware vendor for new computers. Should have them in the morning. As soon as I'm done configuring them, installing applications, users should be back in business by mid-afternoon. We pay a lot of money for antivirus, anti-malware products, and the new patch management system you implemented last year. How did this ransomware get in? Well, we can't rely on antivirus, anti-malware solutions alone. These attackers are smart. They know how to hide malware. Fortunately for us, our antivirus, anti-malware solution did catch the malware. It prevented installation on several computers. Why didn't it catch it on all the computers? Well, the infected computers weren't part of our centralized monitoring system. They weren't receiving software updates, uh, patches, or antivirus, anti-malware signature updates. Uh, we didn't realize the patches and updates weren't getting installed. We forgot some settings during the recent switch upgrade project. You forgot? Don't you have a checklist? I want to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, not a formal checklist. We have a small network. I mean, it's all pretty much in my head. I, look, when this is all over, I'll create a formal inventory. All of our computers, servers, network devices, that will ensure all of our systems are monitored appropriately. That sounds like a plan. Do it. <laughs> 